Oh dang, wait, there's a Zygarde core. Go, Nippy! Use, use Splash! Oh no, Splash! <laughs> <laughs> I was just acting like I was New Age. Nah, I would never tell a Pokemon to use Splash. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nippy. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see New Age and how, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up? Oh, um, New Age. Hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor's waiting to meet you. How, how were your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. It was definitely really tough. <laughs> I would think so, but still, you made it through all three. I think that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Brion there, I mean. Yeah. We got the hang of it. Yo. Zygarde core cube thing. It's all mine. What's over here? Ooh. Hey. Nice and big mushroom. Alright, so we're getting into the lab. Let's see what's up. You're going to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? Anyone can tell that. <laughs> okay. Good to know. That reminds me of something I heard about. Some rare Pokemon can use rings to teleport itself through space. Oh, dang. Alright, let's go. Well, it looks like I can only go to one floor for now. The Dimensional Research Lab. Oh, dang. What's up, Kakui? Hey there, honey. Who you calling honey? Who's that babe? <laughs> this here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab. Yeah. And she's also my wife. Oh, snap. What? I thought you were my dad. My heart is broken. You got a pretty nice looking wife. You're new age, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. <laughs> Plot twist! Hmm? No. Oh, no how today? How? He's out doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna. Just like his old holla. Before him. <laughs> oh! Dang, there he is. <laughs> you really think so? Whoa. -ho. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought New Age here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean... The Ultra Wormhole? What? It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. Oh, dang. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There's also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon. Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beast, and they were feared. Oh, dang. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I'd be happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. 
Okay. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I would wanted to learn more about Nippy. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed up on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his sloth to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nippy's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nippy back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Me mom! Me mom! Okay. So is that all we need to know? I've looked at all the books. Can I go now? Hey, there we go. How about that, New Age? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials. Okay, making sure I read that right. Woo! And now comes to the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck, Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. Why are all these cities just the same two words repeating each other? But well, watch out for Team Skull. I'm not afraid of Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. <laughs> I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Dang, let's do it then. Diglett's Tunnel. Oh, uh, Rodham wants to have a place named after him. Well, you have to make it, Rodham. You can make a tunnel. And it'll be called Rodham's Tunnel. That easy. Whoa. Whoa! Uh-oh. What was that? That was sketchy. Hey, New Age! So you made it through all three captain's trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. I know that. Diglett's Tunnel is, let's see. From here, it's kind of near the Pokemon Center. It's easy walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> now it's Masada time for me. Why are you always eating, dude? I can just level up Brion straight to some evolution. Oh? Oh, what's going on here? Isn't that the... Kahuna Hana? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, New Age was it? Uh-huh. What's up, Olivia? This cave is really something, you know? It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let's see which crystals you've earned. Ha, <laughs> all of them. Nice work, I see you've even passed Malo's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down too. If you're as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, at the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is, I'll see you there. It's a shop? You're not even moving. All right, let's do it. Battle us some doggies. That's the Zubat. All right, well, Manny can't beat that very well. I thought I was going to find Diglets, And now I can't even get away. Well, maybe I can't have this at the front then if I'm not going to find Diglets. Yeah. If it's not Diglet every time... And it's not worth. Maybe I can level up Diggy though. I should be able to beat other Diglets. And Zubats. Alright, let's go through. Wait, trainer? No. Looks like you're a fellow trainer who can use Z power in battle. Oh. Oh wait, wasn't there someone who I was supposed to beat all the trainers? And then they would have battled me? I keep forgetting about that because like you get you get distracted 
because there's always like objectives at the end. Oh, that sucks. There was like a strong trainer that I missed out on battling. I'm pretty sure they're up at uh, Malo's challenge or whatever. We got us a Zubat! Let's go, Diggy! You can get some more levels. Alright, hit him with a Rock Tomb! Yeah! Dang it, it lived! Aw, oh, man! Alright. Let's go for the Metal Claw. Finish him off! Yeah. Not too shabby. Alright. So, there's that way up the stairs. What's this way? Some cool stuff. Oh! A trainer. Should I try and use Manny? Maybe not against the trainer, but... Um, let's give it a shot. Let's see what you got! Whether in battles or digging tunnels, Pokemon are incredible. Alright. Let's see what you got, bro. Dang, Muscles over here. Muscles Frank over here. He's got a Diglett! Alright, let's see if we can beat this thing. Level 22. Oh, it doesn't have a... Like... Sleep powder or anything. Magnitude 9? Chill, dude! Oh, we actually took that pretty well. It's already faster than me. Dang! Aw, oh, man. If I would have healed it sooner, then I would have been able to take that hit pretty easy. Right, let's see what he goes for. Maybe he'll get a bad magnitude. Ah, Sucker Punch! I don't think so. I was going for Bulldoze this time. Nah, we're eating that up. Alright, not bad, Manny. Taking on the Diglett. That's what's up. Yeah. Got some nice experience. Same is true for my Pokemon. But your Pokemon are incredible. Darn to hootin. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. Got a brush. Brush off the dirt. How'd you get so dirty? Tis just one battle. Yeah, you're looking you're looking mighty powerful though. There you go. Gotta keep our Pokemon strong and ready. Alright. How do I get to this? Oh, okay. I just walked to it. That works. Alright, Dusk Ball. Okay, and this leads down. Gotcha. See, I would like to run away from Zubats. But I also want to keep Manny in the front in case I find Diglets. And I keep just finding Zubats. Well, that's not gonna do then. Can I run? That time I was able to run. I feel like I'm just finding more Zubats, if anything. Put Diggy up in the front again. Alright. Let's see what awaits us up the stairs. Oh. Phew. With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. Yeah, I know. It seems like Team Skull is responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of tr troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Okay. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. 
We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are stuck or <laughs> stuck on or near the surface though, so be careful. Will do. Don't worry, I can handle me some Diglett. It's gonna be another Zubat. That time it's a Diglett. Diggy! Now nah, we got this though. Level 20, push -a. I hope that kills it. Hey, there we go. Not even bad. Why are you dirty, Diggy? You just like to be pampered. It's always, it's always the same spot. You always get dirt in the same spot in your face. Whatever. You're gonna get fat. Eating all these beans. Alright. Let's keep it going. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, Pokeball. Hey. What is this? Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't think so. Ho ho! Sneaking past ya! Maybe this is. What's the other way? Dang it, now I need to know. Another diggy! Plenty of experience for my diggy. I'd rather use Manny, but whatever. Maybe if I keep finding enough Diglett now, I'll start using Manny. Hey, not bad. I'm not cleaning you again, Diggy. Oh, fine. But you're not getting food. Nah, you don't need Mud Bomb. Overrated. Alright, alright. It's just gonna be the same dirt on your face like it always is. There you go. Now you're clean. Wait, I gotta go back the other way. Oh, it's gonna get me! Ah! <laughs> I think this loops back down. Oh! Or there's a trainer there. See, now I keep finding Diglett. Which is what I wanted before, but I kept running into Zubats. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to Manny in the front. I better not find a Zubat again. Hey, check you out, Diglett. Getting those levels. You get dirty way too much, like after every battle. OMG. There you go. You're chilling. You don't need more food. I bet you have like a big old stomach under the ground. Alright, Manny, back up front. And we will heal it with a berry. Oh, okay. I do have an orange berry. There we go, close enough. All right, let's go, guy. Let's see what you got. Hey, worker Val Vaklov Vaklov. He's got him a chop. All right, that's not weak to grass, but we're not weak to fighting. So let's give it a shot. What does this do? Okay, so Razor Leaf is clearly the stronger move. Let's go for it! Yeah! Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Revenge, chill, bro! Manny just got clean knocked out. Alright, well, I guess let's go into Woody. Oh! 
All right, maybe we'll give this one to Woody. It's about to level up. And then we'll get us a nice and powerful toucan. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Literally, like, it'll level up in the next battle. Alright. Let's revive. Is the revive in, like, this bag now, or what? Okay. And super potion. There we go. There we go. Now we can get some levels. What? Team Skull is this way. Dang it. Well, what's the other way then? Oh, no way. Just when things were starting to heat up, yo. I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. <laughs> yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? Dang. I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. New Age! Oh, snap! How's joining the squad? Ow! What? Oi! What? What's he saying? I was wondering who you were playing around without me, and it's Team Skull. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Let's do it. Let's see what you got, bro. Taking on the Team Skull. Double battle. Ooh, let's go. Let's see what you got. Salandit and Fomantis. Okay, some different stuff. I like it. Alright, Pikachu and Manny. This is not a good matchup for me. Got a fire move coming my way. Hmm. Let's go out into Moana. And hope that we don't die to this uh, Fomantis. Yeah. Eat it up. Oh, Razor Leaf hits both, huh? That's right. I did forget about that. Alright. I mean, we should be okay. I'm gonna go for Echoed Voice. Try and get this thing out of the picture. Yeah, you take care of Solanda, Pikachu. Hey, damn, that did a lot. That was like the weakest one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna do a lot now. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, Pikachu, get rid of the Solanda or Fomantis. Okay, it actually knocked it out. Good. I was afraid it wasn't going to. Woody, your boy's at level 28. Oh, uh, let's see that evolution. Get out of here, Salandit. We got bigger things to worry about. Hey, a Manny leveled up too. Nice. <laughs> Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? Oh! <laughs> The gloom that enfolds us like fog. We can't seem to shake it off. Was that supposed to rhyme? <laughs> Yo. There it is. Woody evolving into a beautiful toucan. Oh. Uh, I waited so long for this. I love it. Hey. Whoa, what? Is Beak changes colors? Like when it attacks and stuff? Hey! Two cannon! Nice! Yo, I wanna see this real quick. Do I get to see the animations? Action! It's just chillin'. Or was it just that one time that it changed? No, it does change colors! Oh, it turns red! That's cool! I love it. I love it. Ah! Oh, so happy. Is it learning to move? Beak Blast? What is that? 
Oh, I don't have skill link, huh? That's like a 1 to 5. Oh no! The user first heats up its beak and then it attacks the target, making direct contact with the Pokemon while it's heating up its beak. Results in a burn? A flying move that can burn? Yo! That's legit! Love it. Absolutely love it. Beak Blast, I cannot wait to drop that on somebody. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Moana, you are a mess. What did you do? Alright, there you go. Here, eat some stuff. There you go. Hey! You're gonna evolve soon, too. I mean, too soon? Yeah? Whatever. <laughs> yo, step off! Enough with beating up, yo! <laughs> we may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. Dang, get out of here. Dang, these guys got wrecked. Man, New Age, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I've just got to give you something. <laughs> okay. Take this random item. Yeah, Max Ethers, PP, all that good stuff. Alright. So, I want to go back this way then. And Manny's still at the front. As long as we don't run into any Zubat, we should be chill. Yo, Woody is powerful. Diggy's gonna evolve too. Um, soon? I feel like that's weird to say. Diggy's gonna evolve too. Soon. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep it going. I wanna see what's back here. Better not find a Zubat right now. I've been finding nothing but Diglets. Of course. Right when I put Manny in the front. Nah, I'm running from this thing. I don't care what you say. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's just a trainer here. Okay. I'll let Diggy take him on. Dig a hole! Okay. Now, it's not really... It's not really a good place for uh, Manny to level up at. Not working out so well. Rog and Rolla, let's do it. Diggy, get him! Alright, let's see what we got here. Hit him with the magnitude. Magnitude 6, I'll take it. Damn, he ate that up. Weak armor. Okay. Iron defense? Aw oh, dang, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. So his defense is at plus one now, so I have to get a pretty decent magnitude. Magnitude eight, that might be enough! Yeah, there we go. Rog and Roller taken down. You're gonna need to be cleaned. Mudbray, that's the ground type one, isn't it? Well, let's try Manny. If it's a ground type, what's up, Steven? Welcome. Level 22. Super effective Razor Leaf. I want to learn that Giga Drain or something. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that does a lot. Alright, chill, 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 chill. Huh? Dang, that doesn't do enough. That was a crit? What? What? His defense rose. Alright, let's try again. If it doesn't attack me, then I think we'll be in a good spot. Working through the second trial? Not bad. Oh, he's using Bide. You think we can beat it, or should we just wait it out? I think I'll go for growth while I wait for it to store energy. 
Get ourselves nice and powerful. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go through my TMs again and see who could learn some stuff. Alright, let's go for Razor Leaf now. Nah. No energy for you, son! Alright, almost dead. Yo, that's a cool ability. Hit him one more time. It's a wrap. My man Manny coming through. How you liking the game so far, Steven? There you go, Manny. Getting some nice experience. Even though I feel like I have to use Wingo. Given the circumstances. <laughs> 